This isn't my car. Well, it's not my car, but it is a new car. It is for the wife. We no longer have a Saturn. We picked up this 2018 Kia Soul Plus. So, you know, it's got like the silver front. It's got like the silver diffuser, 17 inch wheels, all disc brakes. Looks really nice. Basically, the Saturn was kind of spent. Uh, it was older, need something safer for the kids. So we found this and got a great deal on trade-in. Um, this wasn't new, new. It's a 2018, had 20,000 miles. Can't beat it. There's like nothing wrong with it. So still under factory warranty. So went ahead, upgraded this, her Saturn to the Kia Soul. And uh, we're gonna go over some things real quick. So like I said, it's got like the silver diffuser. It's got 17 inch alloys. It's got the silver front. It's a two liter direct injection automatic with the fog lights, headlights, all that stuff. It's not fully crazy loaded with options. Like it doesn't have like the illuminated sills and stuff like that that are just kind of nonsense. Let's got the factory floor mats. Got this, you know, we got a nice steering wheel. We got the uh, touch screen here. It's not the Carmen Auto, whatever it is, with the speaker that's in the center. Oh, sorry, Rihanna, we gotta turn you down here. Okay. But as you can see, we, we got this. We got our climate control. I really like the layout of the steering wheel. Really nice. You know, it's got the Bluetooth hookup, USB for the stereo. You know, we can go in. Well, actually, no phone's paired to it right now because it's set up for her car and I didn't pair mine up. Um, but, come on, go back to music. Okay. But, uh, you know backup camera there's the backup camera uh this backup camera when you turn the lanes do not turn with you like on some of like the gm stuff um another thing that i did really like about this car is the layout of these the gauge cluster um it's kind of got that like euro feel where these come out and then we're park and mileage are that's actually raised it's kind of hard to get it on camera but in person like i don't know it's white and red it looks nice. Um, as far as the interior goes, black cloth because you know, kids. Uh, no sunroof or anything crazy, no crazy mirrors, but it is very nice to drive. It is not, it's not what I'd prefer to drive. I, I think I sit up too high. I like sitting low. This sits up higher than the caliber. I gotta show you that real quick. So, doesn't have the roof spoiler. That might be something I'm gonna look for for her, just to give it a little bit of something. But, uh, and maybe another set of wheels in the future so that I can put snow tires on these and give her a nice set of wheels. But from the first gen to this second gen Kia Soul, it is bigger. This is bigger than the caliber. Um, can't really do a side by side in my driveway and I don't really want to at the moment, but it's it's actually a lot bigger. Um, I mean, I'm 6'4", and I mean, that's the roof. Like, the caliber sits lower than that. And uh, here's something that's, I'm gonna show you. I, I'm a size 13 shoe. That is the ground clearance, like, right there. That's my foot straight. Like, I could crawl under this thing and change the oil, probably. That's higher than the caliber for sure, you know? I mean, that's, you figure that's a 17 inch wheel with tire, what is that, a 215, 55 tire, and it's almost half, you know, the axle. So you've got a decent ground clearance, so that should be really good for snow. Um, it came with the uh, vinyl protection on that rear piece. I don't know if the bumper has it. But yeah, the base, this whole area is like a little bit different 
and it's all black. So this has silver lip, fog lights, that sort of stuff. It is a lot bigger than the second or first gen. I keep saying that, but it really is. It doesn't look it, but it is. Another thing that's, I, I don't know about the first gen, but on the second gen here, look at the floor here, it's flat. So that means if you did cram a third person in here, they would have, you know, some ample foot room. And now I'm wondering, I'm thinking, people are wondering, how many cup holders does this thing have? Well, I think it has too many. So we're gonna start in the back seat. You got this flip out armrest here. That's two, okay? None down here, cause you know, foot room makes sense. You got one on each rear door in the pocket here. So that's four already. Come up front, you know, five and six for the passengers. Oh, that makes sense. But then they give you another one down here. So that's eight. This thing has eight cup holders. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe thirsty people bought the first Kia. But it's really laid out nice. Um, another little feature I saw that I liked is if you want to get a roof rack for it, it's got the factory built in. So you just like pop these forward, put your bars in. You can take it off, put these pieces back in, be all set. I don't want to pop it out and not be able to get it back in. But uh, I like it. She likes it a lot, so that's what's important. There is the backup camera and the serious, you know, radio antenna. Now, trunk space, a little bit less than the caliber. You know, you got your hat rack, whatever the heck they call them, your divider shade thing. Um, then you got a cubby which the cubby is nice, because you can store stuff and do things like that. But uh, that'll come out of there. And then there's even more space. So you could get a full-size spare with one of these, or you know, the donut, whatever. This one has, of course, the pump and the uh, little bottle of fluid. You know, you got your little thing you put in there and your pump. But, I mean, you figure you could put a, a spare in there, then you got your cubby, and then you got your floor. So there's, it's not like deep, like as the caliber would be, I'd say, but because there's like, I mean, you use this whole area for storage underneath here. So you saw how much room there was with no, with no tire. So if you wanted to carry, extra stuff you could pack this back trunk pretty full of small things but uh i like it but one thing that i did notice is i can just barely fit under the tailgate can't do that on the caliber my my tailgate comes about here but then again it sits lower this side i don't know i think they list this in the caliber both is like small crossovers but i would still say that it's more of like a hatchback because i don't know that's my opinion but it's really nice sorry i'm super close um my gopro is got scratch lens right now i just found that out and my computer's acting up so filming with my canon is difficult because it doesn't want to edit but i really like it i think this color is inferno red it is very nice. She's very happy with it. I think this is quite a good upgrade from the uh, Saturn. Not that there was anything wrong with the Saturn. It was just showing its age. So there it is. That is my wife's new car. That is what will be replaced. Well, it has replaced the Saturn. We've had it for a, we've had it for a week. So. We've enjoyed it so far. And uh, probably gonna see too much of it because mostly on her cars, we just do maintenance stuff. And uh, since it's so new, won't probably be adding anything to it for a while unless I luckily come across something like a spoiler or something like that at a junkyard. There's the radio startup. Of course, you're gonna get that. 
I'm like, okay. It's reading the USB right now. Confirm. But um, <clears throat> one one thing I did notice, I wanted to see if I could play it real quick. Okay, it's on. If I put it in reverse, it silences the radio down about half volume. So that's another cool feature. So hopefully you guys like this little quick review. Um, it's a lot nicer than the caliber, but then again, it is about eight years newer, you know, 2009, 2018. Um, you know, the dash materials are all soft and, you know, Kia has really stepped their game up. Dodge has too since 09 now that, you know, they're not with Dimer or whoever. But anyway, she really likes it. I like it. I'm not going to have to drive it that much, so not too big of an issue for me because, like I said, I don't like sitting up high. But uh, if you like this video, go ahead, like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time.